deep in the mysterious and fascinating life of the wild. There lives, freely, two of the oldest and purest breeds of canines. One's from the harsh deserts of the beautiful Australia, and the other's from the sub-Saharan Africa. Two of the very few ones that survived our domestication. And to this day, they remain untamed. They're the strongest dogs in the wild and far, far away from each other's sight. What would happen if these two were to meet one day? Who would win and conquer? Which one of them will be the strongest dog of the wild? Let's find out in this episode. The African Wild Dog versus the Dingo. Let the battle begin. is a medium-sized canine that possesses a lean, hardy body adapted for speed, agility, and stamina. They reach a body length of 50 to 61 inches, though that's taller than the African wild dog, who only reaches up to 40 inches. Dingoes possess a weaker and lighter body of only 44 pounds, while the muscular wild African dog weighs 50 pounds, one bigger in size and the other in mass. One point to each for this round. Personality. Despite of living in the wild, dingoes are not known for their wild, aggressive nature. In some cases, they have even been kept as pets. Dingoes tend to show aggressive behavior only when threatened, and of course, when searching for food. Mostly, they'd rather not fight at all. On the other hand, the African wild dog fights for a living they're constantly hunting for hyenas. So they're always alert and ready to take you down. Wild, aggressive, and vicious killers in our sight. A softer side shows when the curtain's down. Within their habitats, unlike almost any other predator, they live in extraordinary cooperation with one another. They're always sharing their food and take care of the smaller and weaker members of the pack. One strong point to the African wild dog. Speed. Even though they live in the wild with more place to roam, more reasons to run. Dingoes are not the fastest of dogs. Though with a strong and athletic lean body, dingoes can travel at speeds of only 30 miles per hour. Might be good enough for their daily habitat, but in this fight, they don't stand a chance running away from these guys. Living in larger spaces with more predators, the African wild dog in a sprint can reach speeds of more than 44 miles per hour. One point to the African wild dog. Hunting skills. Dingoes are Australia's largest carnivore. And while their hunting is opportunistic, they're more likely to pursue small game like rabbits, rodents, birds, and lizards. On the other hand, the African wild dogs have a much bigger goal in mind. They hunt gazelles, antelopes, wildebeest. With an impressive 80% success rate, they're among Africa's most effective predators. Their ability of running at high speeds for long distances helps them tire their prey right into their hook. In addition to that, their pack structure makes them one of the most successful predators in the wild. One point for the best hunter of Africa, the African wild dog. Strength. Dingoes possess a strong and athletic body. Their long legs and large lungs help them run long distances without tiring. Also, with a bite force of 125 PSI. They're quite successful in their habitat, but not impressive enough for this fight, my bud. The African wild dog has a bite force of a whole 317 pounds and one of the strongest in their circle. Stronger, faster, and most likely to put you down. 
This point goes to the African wild dog. General Health Little is known about the health of the dingo. In general, they appear to be a healthy breed. In the wild, dingoes live somewhere between 5 to 10 years. But in captivity, they can live up to 18 to 20 years. This number is pretty impressive, as most domesticated dogs rarely reach such a long lifespan. It is also more than that of African wild dog, which only live up to 10 years in the wild and in captivity. Unfortunately, they are also in danger to go extinct due to habitat loss, human conflict, and infectious diseases. For this round, point goes to the dingo. Features Dingoes are well equipped for the Australian outback and have impressive sense of vision. They can even swivel their head about 180 degrees. To give you an idea, humans can only turn theirs 45 to 70 degrees. The African wild dog, similar to other African animals, have distinct coat patterns. No two wild dogs have the same spotted patterns. These are unique to individual wild dogs and help members within the pack distinguish between one another. In addition, they have large round ears that allow them to keep track of pack members over long distances through auditory signals. Two very special features to both of them. For this round, one point to each. Intelligence Not much is known about the African wild dog intelligence specifically, but their daily habitat and behavior is strong enough to tell you how smart they are. They're social, protective of their circle, and collaborative in hunting and living. But dingoes have the odds in their favor for this round. They are regarded as even smarter than domestic dogs. They are an intuitive animal with a high capacity to problem solving and planning. The dingo is known to be the most intelligent animal in Australia, apart from man. One point to the dingo. Communication African wild dogs have intense social interactions, mostly involving sniffing and muzzle licking as a bonding language. When they are excited, such as before a hunt or just after a kill, they will give a high-pitched twitter. And for the dingoes, even though barking is the one communication tool among dogs, dingoes rarely bark. They roam great distances and communicate with each other with wolf-like howls. Howling is used as a group function and is sometimes an expression of joy or a form of greeting. Growling is used for dominance and as a defensive sound. Apart from vocal communication, like other dogs, dingoes also use their scent for marking territory. With a smart and more diverse communication, one more point to the dingo. Instincts Gifted with acute senses, the dingo capitalizes on its sense of smell to identify fellow pack members and detect prey, its sense of sight to home in on that prey, and its sense of hearing to facilitate pack communication, signal danger, and discover prey. The African wild dog, unlike other pack hunting animals, rarely fight one another for position. Instead, they exhibit behaviors that support the health of the pack over individual members. And we all know, in union, there is strength. The last point goes to the African wild dog. And now, with a score of 7 to 5, the winner of this battle, the strongest dog of the wild, is... The African wild dog. Sorry to the dingo fans, better luck next time. Who do you think they should fight next? Would you dare pet one of these guys? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, here's two others you might also like. See you next time.